Well, hi, boys and girls, it's Mr. Wassman, and today we're talking fruit salad. Well, no, not really. What we're really going to be doing is multiplying whole numbers and fractions together. But uh, we're using a fruit salad-themed number story to kind of get the job done. We're on our home links, Unit 7, Lesson 6, so let's take a look at the setup for this number story problem. It says, Mr. Chow makes fruit salad that he sells in his store. Today, he plans to make a fruit salad with eight pears, two cups of grapes, and four pints of strawberries. Use the weights below to solve the problems. All right, so the first problem is write a multiplication sentence to show how much the pears weigh. Now, if I was using the ruckus strategy to break down this problem, I've already got the A in ruckus because it tells me, hey, we're going to be multiplying, okay? So what's my question? Well, for number one, I want to know how much the pairs weigh if I'm going to be using eight pairs and each medium pair weighs about three-eighths of a pound. So knowing that I'm creating a multiplication problem, I just have to take my two numbers, which is eight pairs times the weight per pair, which is three-eighths of a pound, equals, let's say P for pairs. That's our unknown. Now, because we are multiplying a whole number uh, with a fraction, all I have to do is think about and concentrate on the numerator of my fraction. Because when I'm grouping eighths, I have eight groups, and in each group I have three eighths. The three could represent something different, like three popsicle sticks or three... Uh, cotton balls or three uh, bags of frozen peas. It doesn't matter what we're counting, okay? What we need to remember is that when I'm thinking about three-eighths, eighths is the unit that I'm counting, okay? Now, what is eight times three? Well, you and I both know that would be 24. Eight times three is 24. So how many eighths of a pound am I talking here? I'm talking 24 Eighths. Now that is a messy number to think about. Okay, Improper fractions are improper in the sense that they're hard to visualize. So when I'm given an improper fraction, I want to see how many groups of whole numbers can I get out of that? How many groups of 8 eighths can I get out of 24? Well, this seems a little redundant, right? Because we just got done multiplying 8 times 3 to get 24, so that means I know that I can get three groups of eight out of 24. So 24 eighths of a pound is equivalent to three, three pounds. And that's how we're gonna figure out the total weight of the ingredients that go into this fruit salad. I'm gonna create multiplication sentences that multiply the number of pounds per cup times uh, the number of cups. I'm going to multiply the number of pounds per pint of strawberries by the number of pints of strawberries. I'll let you do all those individual calculations. I want to skip down to problem number four. It says, how much does Mr. Chow's salad weigh in all? Okay, well, if I know that uh, I'm combining, putting together a fruit salad, I'm adding. And again, that phrase, in all, is kind of a giveaway that tells us that we're going to be adding. So what are we adding? We're adding the weights of 8 pairs plus 2 pounds, or oh, I'm sorry, 2 cups of grapes and 4 pints of strawberries. abbreviate there okay so once I figure out the weights of the individual ingredients all I'm going to do is I'm just going to add them all together get my sum okay pretty straightforward as long as you remember when I'm multiplying a fraction I'm only looking at the numerator as a factor not the denominator okay now down here at the bottom we have some large division problems. This is a review. Uh, uh, everyday math is what we call scaffolded. 
uh, meaning that uh, we're building a structure that we repeat and go back to from time to time. Sometimes teachers will call that spiral review because we, we do it and then we come back to it and then we'll come back to it again and again, kind of like a spiral. Okay, So let's take one of these problems and solve it. Let's try 361 divided by 8. Now I'm going to use the long division method of solving this problem. So 361 divided into 8 groups. Now, just setting up my problem this way, I can already tell I'm going to have a remainder. How do I know? Well, 8 is an even number, and 361 is odd. I cannot divide an odd number with an even number and get an equal amount of parts per group. Okay, I'm going to have some leftovers. So how many leftovers am I going to have? What will be my remainder? Well, let's use the long division strategy to figure it out. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, check and repeat, or check and remainder. Dad, mom, sister, brother, cousin, rover. All right. So how many groups of eight can I get out of 300? Well, none, really. I don't have enough hundreds to put 100 in each of my eight groups if I'm dividing it into eight groups. So the best I can do is nothing, okay, zero, because zero times eight is zero. I subtract the difference. I bring down my next digit, which is six. I check what number I have down at the bottom and compare it to my divisor. My divisor is still smaller, so that means I can keep going, hopefully. Because right now I'm all at zero. So I repeat the process. And I ask myself, how many groups of eight can I get out of 36? Well, if I skip count by eights, eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, I realize 36 is somewhere in between. It's more than four groups, but less than five. So the best I can do is four groups, because four times eight is 32. So I'm going to subtract 36 minus 32, because I multiplied 8 times 4 and got 32. And what I'm left with is 4. But not just 4, 4 tens, which I'm going to combine with this 1, 1, which is going to make it a total of 41. And again, 41 is bigger than my divisor, so I have to repeat the process a third time. Okay? So, how many groups of 8 can I get out of 41? I bet some of you can already see it because you know and I know that 8 times 5 is 40. I just said it like not even a minute ago. The next group of 8 would be 48. Okay, so the best amount or the, the best I can do in terms of getting groups of 8 out of 41 is 5 groups because 5 times 8 is 40. I'm going to subtract the difference, which leaves me with 1. 1 is smaller than my divisor, so I am done this one becomes a remainder, one left over. You have questions? Is this confusing? Are you wondering where you went wrong? That's okay. You and I both know that if you have questions about these math concepts, long division, multiplying, fractions, adding mixed numbers together, there's someone you can talk to, and that is your math teacher. He or she, depending on who it is, is happy to help you figure this stuff out. But what you need to do to help them uh, is to let them know that you are struggling, that you need help, that you have questions. Help us help you. Help us help you. Okay? I hope this video was helpful. And uh, until we talk again, friends, have a good day. Thanks.